Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how I would be inspired through just finding a random drum loop and taking that drum loop, putting it inside Ableton Live, and then being able to swap out the samples and just being able to use exactly what that drum loop was already playing. For anybody who's not a drummer, this could be really helpful. I like to program a lot of my stuff from the ground up, but this is a quick hack for you if you want to check it out. So let's just go into Splice. I'm just going to grab this drum sample and then I'm going to drag that into Ableton Live. And right away, we can kind of just see and use our eyes in the clip of what's what. Like, obviously, this is like a hi-hat. You know, this could be the snare or the kick or whatever. Um, there's different ways you can do what I'm about to show you to put this in a drum rack. One way, and the fastest way, is probably going right-clicking on the audio clip and going to Convert Drums to New MIDI Track. When I do that, Ableton Live is going to quickly just throw that into a drum rack. And it basically just read out the transients of all the different audio hits and then it just put those as separate individual samples inside this drum rack. So one nice thing is now that we have all that here, I can just swap out any of these samples really quick. So if I'm not really into the snare, I'll let's go ahead and just play this. And if I was to play the original sample, it sounded like this. So it's pretty dope. It basically just took that and swapped it out for us real quick. So now we can replace these samples with whatever we want. Uh, converting drums to new MIDI track is a really super cool way to just get your own samples and pull, you know, some drum rhythm and then just swap those samples to whatever you want them to sound like. So I've got a hip hop drum rack that I really love. So definitely encourage you to save your sounds and instruments in your user library and being able to access them really fast is just a faster way to producing. There's nothing more discouraging than just being a slow producer because it takes you twice as long to get the end result that you're wanting. So, um, so I'll go into my drum rack and now I can just straight up pull my samples out of this drum rack into this drum rack if I wanted to, um, just swap out the snare. So I know that this snare 606, I'm not a huge fan. So I'm not a big fan of that snare. I can just delete that snare sound and find the snare in my other drum rack. And I kind of like that. So I'll just drag that to the other track and then drop it into that cell. I can do the same thing for the rest of the samples. I uh, hope you have an awesome day. Also want to let you know, check out the membership. I am helping people with their own productions, learning new tips. I'm giving away all my courses and everything on my website, liveproducersonline.com. So you can access tons of webinars on different Ableton Live topics, video courses teaching you from the ground up in a lot of different areas of production and performance. You can access all of that. So go to the link in the description of the video. Check it out. Really would appreciate the feedback and support. Check it out. I'll see you guys on the other side.